Well, they're, they're an awful lot of lessons learned out of the first game, I do believe. Um, a hugely challenging uh, affair in Mocha. And I thought the guys did a wonderful job to come away from there with uh, with a, a lead. Um, there's a tremendous amount on the line here. There's, there's no other way of pitching this. A home game against Miami um, and what that means to us, um, especially over the course of two legs, is something that I think both sides will have very much in the forefront of their mind. We're in a strong position, but I don't want to take any um, anything lightly. And I think you'll see with a group that go out there tomorrow, given what we have available to us, that there's a very strong group, there's a lot of experience. And uh, of course, my hope is that we can see this tie out and in good fashion and move on. Shaq, uh, Coach alluded to it, but how do you, uh, how from a player perspective, are you able to preserve that lead? Uh, and uh, and also uh, with the amount of minutes that you all play, how can you um, at, uh, tackle that game? On Yeah, like Coach said, um, obviously we don't want to, you know, take the game, you know, for granted. Obviously, you know, we got a good result away in um, Dominican Republic, but, you know, we still have a lot of work to do, so... We're fronting the game, you know, with the most seriousness as we can and um yeah, trying to, you know, put it away. We are now going to open the floor for questions. We're gonna start start with those in the room and then we'll transition onto the Zoom. Uh Ben, right, go ahead. Yeah, Gary, you mentioned wanting to just take the game seriously and put out a strong group. Um how do you balance that and, and wanting to continue to build kind of sharpness and, and fitness coming off of preseason while also just looking at the busy schedule you guys have in the first month and a half to start the year? Yeah, they, they, look, there's a, num there's a number of things that play into the equation here. Um, the, the fact that we certainly have had bodies unavailable to us that you saw at the weekend and, and are slowly but surely getting themselves back into a better shape. Um, guys that have already played some very competitive football and, and taken a lot on board. But, uh, you know, I've always felt that this group have, have dealt with um, adversity, um, adaptation, and have absorbed workload very, very well. We've seen it in the past. Um, I think we're all viewing it. We've just had a meeting upstairs and gone over some footage from last week. But I would hope that everybody's mindset on this one is, um, it's a new game. You know, we've got a Mocha team coming in that do have to try and score. But for us, I think to make the night um, a positive one, um, to, to keep ourselves in the right mindset, we have to score. We have to be aggressive. Um, we want to take advantage of our home field. There were some things last week that I thought the guys did ever so well and we should be able to magnify as we come back home. It sounds like there's going to be a very decent crowd um, especially given the circumstances. And by that, I mean the weather um, and, and the timing of the game. Um, but I, I do also think that we've got players going out there that want to prove a point, that will want to get on the front foot and certainly have the quality to try and take advantage of this Mocha team. Uh, and then Shaq, um, Mocha kind of felt like a bit of an unknown going into the last game. Um, what what did, what kind of stood out about them when you played them in the first leg? Um, and maybe what can you take from that first game in the second leg? Yeah, I would say just a really competitive team. Um, just the culture going on there. Obviously, you see, you know, off the field, you know, what they go through. So you can see, kind of pick up on that, you know, during the games. They fight for every ball, for every, for every pass. You know, they're very physical. So, um, yeah, we got to, you know, first and foremost match that, you know, going into the game, the intensity and, um, yeah, especially opening on, opening exchanges, you know, be ready for that. And then um, hopefully that'll lead us you know, into the rest of the game and um, for going into a good result. All right, we're going to transition to Claudio Villalobos. Before we do that, uh, for those in the Zoom, if you have a question for either Coach of, uh, or Shaq Moore, please uh, raise your, uh, use your uh, hand raising fa uh, function, please. Gary, uh you're not known to be one of those coaches that take anything for granted or, or uh, easy on any team, no matter what the advantage is. However, what is the, how do you balance the fact that you're already three, three goals ahead and, uh, against the possibility of, of perhaps 
getting more injuries in the team, which nobody needs. Yeah. If I knew the if I knew the flat out answer to that, Claudio, then then you know I'd probably be worth an awful lot of money, um, <laughs> which I'm not, by the way. Um, so uh, look, I'm looking at it in in the the most simplest of analogies um, that we will have heard many many times before in a two legged affair. This is this is the halfway point in the tie. We've come in at half time. We're three 0 to the good. And the next goal is going to be really, really important. If we can put ourselves into what I would class as really, you know, a very dominating lead by taking that first step forward and, and getting a, a, you know, a, a good start and a goal, then it will be very, very difficult for Mocha. If they are able to put themselves on the score sheet first, then I think it will give them an incentive and that incentive could lead to a game that we're not looking for and, you know, we don't necessarily need. So from the very outset, it will be a very positive approach. The side that we have going out there is as strong as we can get out there at this point. And I'm hoping that I can make adjustments to that point there on out. And we put the, the tie to bed. The ultimate... Um, view on this is what comes next. We want to be in the in the next round. We want that match up against Miami, and I think everyone that's involved with the club would agree with that as well. And therefore, you know, the energy, the positivity, and the intensity of our play is important in the opening exchanges. Shaq, we just saw uh, you guys and, and Joe, uh, especially. Uh, doing what you did on, uh, against New York this past weekend, holding um, a very dangerous team, which is New York, uh, to zero. I mean, it was it was, it was an accomplishment. But there's something that Nashville is used to do, keeping that uh, goal, no goals. On it. Is that a, another goal here for this, uh, to do the same this week, tomorrow? Yeah, for sure. You know, every game, you know, we want to make it, you know, difficult as we can on the team that's coming in, where that's home, where that's away. You know, we want to be intense on that side of the ball. That's, you know, always been a strength of us. Um, so yeah, the other day I think we did well. Obviously, we gave a few chances, but that's going to happen, you know, in any, in every game. So um, that's definitely you know one of our identities, and we want to you know keep that going forward. Thank you, Shaq. Uh, we're going to transition onto the Zoom. Uh, Jacob Shames with the Tennessean. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Shaq. You know, you've uh, faced uh, you know similar situations. You know, last season, you know, when the Red Bulls they needed to win to advance the playoffs and final game, but you know nothing. Quite like this, where you know a team needed to win by you know three goals in the second leg, like of a cup tie. I guess what do you expect to see from Mocha that's different from what you saw Thursday with them down now three goals to nothing? And how do you prepare for you know a possibly a different approach that they might bring? Yeah, I think you know a team that's come in with nothing to lose. Obviously, that's you know has its own you know little matices that you have to kind of be ready for. A team that has nothing to lose, going to throw air to the wind, going to go for the game. So. Definitely something we have to be ready for. And um, I think, you know, just being at home, that should help us a lot. You know, our field, our, our fans, everything that's, you know, in our favor. So I just think we need to just take the game as serious as possible and, um, yeah, try to get the job done.